Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Hope you all are doing well. Hello everyone in the chat, welcome back. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy this video. And uh, please do remember, it's a general love reading, okay? So some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. And if you would like to book a personal reading from me, just click the link in the description box below this video and you will be taken right to my booking site where you can book your reading. What is going on here? Okay, Virgo. This will be a love reading and then after this portion, I'll do the singles. Ah, hey, <laughs> you guys, the Emperor's back. What a surprise. Okay. All right, let's see. All right. Bottom of the deck page of pentacles so somebody's got some plans here big plans ooh, for some type of oh, the devil energy capricorn energy here aries scorpio leo aquarius and taurus i feel like this kind of feels like something from yesterday somebody's just thinking about you plans on how to keep you guys from getting away from each other that's bizarre that's a bizarre message kind of thinking about it that's what I was saying contemplating what the next strategy is what the next idea is five of cups in the reverse coming out of grief turning around here and seeing two cups okay versus looking at the glass half empty glass half full half full somebody's definitely very attached to you still who could this be okay here we go three of swords and the lovers so gemini energy after some type of a heartbreak to fix a relationship this is how i feel let's take a look and see what the love messages are here for you all right you guys what is going on virgo oh, every day it's a saga every day is something new <laughs> Virgo's love life here on YouTube. All right. Oh gosh. True love, Virgo. This is the romance of a lifetime. Some of you might be connecting with someone currently, um, or this is your person. Okay. Let's see what else. You deserve love. You are lovable. I feel like there's definitely, you know, if you didn't receive that communication yet from your person, there's definitely going to be some type of message from them. They might try to, um, look, whatever message they send you, whatever communication you get from this person, as bizarre as it may seem, if they're not coming right out and expressing their feelings, it could be something like, you know, hey, do you still have that screwdriver um, that you borrowed from me? Or... <laughs> Um, I don't know. Did you get that bill? Hey, did you get a piece of mail? Hey, did you get that phone call? Hey, whatever happened to whatever it is, Virgo, it's because this person is trying to kind of wiggle their way in to try to heal something without coming right out forward and telling you. <laughs> very soon, clearly decide what you want. So that comes to you now. Yep, you're going to be getting something very soon from somebody, a friend, a lover. Could be an X. Let's take a look here. All right, past energies, or just generally two of wands. I feel like. All right, give me just a second here. What is up? Somebody doesn't want something to end. The world is here, but the Knight of Wands is like going back to. It feels like going back to the drawing board. Virgo, some of you may have just said, you called it quits. Some of you just called it quits. You're like, no, it's fine. It's okay. What's done is done. But it feels, because I feel like you were kind of, you and your person were kind of like, I don't know, you had a snag or you came to like a fork in the road and it's like, okay, we're either going to walk down this path together or we're just going to go, you go right, I'll go left and we'll just keep it moving and put the end. But or like put it to an end, but we go. Okay, hold on, you guys. I just want to show you something here. You see how this world card is about 
you know, victory, having a new start, completing a cycle. Generally, this the, the figure in this card is like walking forward but still looking back. It's like one more chance. There's still another shot. Somebody's going back or coming back and saying, all right, maybe just one more try. One more try. Isn't that a song? Who sings that song? One more try. That's what I feel like. One more try. All right, let's take a look at the world. What's going on here? Yep, Ten of Wands. The Knight of Wands. Karma. Revelation. And the Two of Swords. Sorry, the Ten of Swords. But it came out in the reverse. So it feels to me whatever was just kind of like one foot out the door it feels like one some of you put an end to something but you haven't fully taken your foot out the door that's not all of you but some of you still are kind of looking back and you're kind of like well let me listen to this reading and see if maybe anything's going to change some of you have still a small little spark of hope okay um for others you don't and you like shut the door on this and you could just stick around and wait for the singles and we'll see who's coming in but for those of you who it feels like put the kibosh down on something or you just were like okay i think that's it i'm just i'm done but you're not really done i feel like your person senses that that you're not fully finished and it's not like it doesn't feel like it's in an arrogant way it's just that they i don't feel like this person was done i feel like you are the one that kind of ended something here and it feels like they were still sta like standing at the crossroad you made the decision and you like either exited stage left or right and that person's still standing there kind of waiting for you to return and hoping that you will come rushing back with all your power see the ten of swords in the reverse this is kind of like it's not finished this person's mind it's not finished they watched you walk away but they see you're still looking back and okay they watch you walk away because it was a struggle and it felt like a burden the whole relationship but they kind of sense that you're still looking back because you they're hoping that you still have all this fiery passion for them and they're really hoping that you're going to <laughs> I just heard remember do you remember the time when we were in love I don't know why music keeps coming to me they're hoping that you're going to remember that fiery physical like that you know that that's what they that it that's what's driving your person hoping that you're going to return they're waiting they're still waiting they, they haven't left they may not be chasing after you they are definitely plotting and scheming they want to fix this connection okay so they're definitely in a position with the four of swords just kind of like laying back chilling out um they're hoping they're you're going to return <laughs> ten of wands down here again but they know that it was a struggle they know this relationship like it was a heavy burden to carry although a burden is a gift and they know that you you know they know so this is what they're saying that the struggles you brought were actually gifts to them because they learned a lot about themselves okay i mean they're very patient it feels like they're okay with just waiting it feels like whatever happens happens they're willing to reciprocate they want you to it's crazy okay i just heard this spirit said they want you to bring your struggles back they want the, the they miss your pain in the assness. <laughs> this person misses how you gave them a hard time. They miss how you brought all your problems to them. They like to help. Um, they like to feel like they were needed and that you weren't just out there going solo all the time. I know some of you are like, but I did. I brought my problems. I tried to, you know, okay well maybe you did i don't know i'm just telling you what i'm picking up here um you there's they're saying tell virgo you are a handful <laughs> 
not in a bad way, not, not negative at all, but I mean, you're challenging. That's what I mean. You know, they see that, they know that, but they love that. This person loved that about you, but they still love that about you. Um, I just heard the way you put salt on everything, the way you had to have like a specific kind of toothpaste. This is, these are the messages I'm getting. Like you couldn't have any other kind of toothpaste, Virgo. You have to have this one particular kind and that was it. And you weren't ever gonna sway in any other direction from that. Like the way you, the way you put the eggs in the fridge, some of you even took the eggs out of the carton and you put them in like a specific, I don't know, container or holder. The way you had everything so precise and organized and, and for others, they just said the way you like, no matter how many times you kept throwing stuff on your chair, like you kept, some of you were so organized yet so disorganized, but yet you knew where everything was. You, that's what I'm hearing here. <laughs> Strange. Okay. All's fair in love and war, Virgo. Justice. So it feels to me like this is Libra energy. I just hear that. I hear you. Somebody. I just hear voices saying, "Do the right thing, Virgo. Come back. Bring this. Bring it back. Bring it back. All's fair in love and war. It's not worth it to throw it away." Bring your struggles back. Yeah. They see like you're kind of indifferent here. You're just like not sure. They feel like, they do feel like if they're not going to reach out, not in that loving way, like I said, they'll, in, in more like, I don't know, domesticated ways, they find a reason, you know, um, to reach out, you know. Do you have my favorite pen? <laughs> Who has a favorite pen? I guess we can, somebody, somebody has a favorite pen. They're not going to reach out in that emotional way because they, they don't, they're afraid you're going to reject them, the love. But yet, they're going to reach out. They do want to say something. They, they do want to try to like plant a seed or get something started here with you. Yeah, heartbroken, three of swords. This person's twice here. You were both heart. You're both hurt. You guys argued, you fought, you disagreed. You couldn't see eye to eye. I just heard another song. There's only you and me, and we just disagree. Couldn't see eye to eye. And yet, complete opposites. That's what I feel. But not. It's like you guys are the, like a lot alike. But you didn't like plug in very well to each other, you know? Like you were made for each other, but you couldn't seem to like plug into each other perfectly, you know? Some blockages. Okay, this person here, Eight of Swords, Seven of Wands. What's going on here? Well, they want to free for themselves from some restrictions mental yeah I feel like this person was a little bit neurotic in a lot of ways and maybe you too that that's what it feels like somebody might have like be a little obsessive compulsive or maybe both of you that's that's why there was like some friction is what I feel some friction in the in the dynamic of the relationship of trying to be easy, trying to be more live and let live, you know. Um, maybe this person was nitpicky with you. They could have been very nitpicky and just kind of naggy, you know, in some ways. Or they like things a specific way, and maybe Virgo, you like things a specific way, or even in the dynamic of just getting the relationship off the ground, you had certain you know, standards, this person had a different set, but still very much alike. And it feels like they want to free themselves from 
these restrictions, their own restrictions. They want both of you to, to just kind of let that stuff be, leave that alone and focus on the love. At least that's where they're at now because it is true love and they feel like you deserve love. They feel like they deserve it as well. What's more important, you know, someone who puts a toothpaste cap back on or that true joy to be together, spending time together. So the emperor is here, okay, with the world. <laughs> You know, <clears throat> this person, it feels like they want to hold on. They're giving me that king of the world, the king of the world. Where's that from? I'm the king of the world. So, oh, um, was that scene from T Titanic? I think king of the world, I'm king of the world, Rose. What was his name? Rose and, um, I forget his name. Well, I know it's Leonard DiCaprio, but I forget the name that he played. Somebody here might be named Rose, and then the other person, Leonard DiCaprio's uh, character. King of the world. They want to be king of your world, or queen of your world, or if you're a male, they want you to be king of their world because you are to them. <laughs> There's the King of Pentacles. See? <laughs> king, of the pen king of the earth. King of the world. But even better, better than before, as an emperor who embodies all the kings. Like, you are everything to this person. I know. I hear, I just heard some of you, yeah? How come they don't tell me that? Where they at? Because they're afraid that if they try to restart something here, they're just hoping and praying. You know, I know some of you are hoping and praying and just really hoping this person is going to have that wake up call and remember the passion between you. They're just hoping and praying that enough time that goes by that you're not, if you're not in communication or if there's separation for some reason or absence makes the heart grow fonder they're hoping that that part will blow back up again that passion because if you don't have passion in a relationship well you're just business partners right all right let's take and let's take a look and see what the love messages are here Well, hello. Okay, the timing just wasn't right for us. That's how your person feels. And the world card is about timing, for sure. But I feel like that was a long time ago. And that's what I was saying. You weren't plugging into each other. You were out of sync. Meant to be very similar to each other. A lot of similarities. It's like you knew when you met this, whoever your person is, it's like you knew that you were meant to be together, but you were out of sync. Okay. This is for you, Virgo. Boundaries, firm boundaries are needed right now. Not really sure why. Some of you in this relationship, some, not all of you, Some of you, I just heard um, sacrifice like a lamb for, for your person, you know. Um, so a small example I'm just hearing, again, with the toothpaste. I mean, I know it's so domestic, but this person liked the cap on the toothpaste and you just were like, it's not a big deal. Okay, fine. But then you changed who you were. You changed a lot of yourself to please this person. And that's just an example. And that could be in any ways. You changed a lot of things about yourself and didn't stay true to who you are. And that's where the burden came for you. 
because then you became codependent. So for those of you who are experiencing that or just didn't had a hard time just staying true to yourself, being interdependent in the relationship, then boundaries are definitely needed for you. Okay. Okay, spiritual lesson. This person is in your life to teach you a lesson. And I think you know that. It doesn't have to be spiritual, but a lesson about yourself, okay? So a little distance right now that you've been going through is bringing a lot of clarity, not just to you, but to your person. Let's take a look and see their feelings. All right, you speak to me through music or art or movies or um, I heard music videos, poetry, singing, lyrics to songs. It's interesting. I'm starting to understand our connection. So I feel like your person is, you know, if you guys have been having time apart or distance or just even if you're still together but you're just not communicating there's it's a lot of understanding happening in both ways a lot of you have come to this place where it's kind of like well what the heck was that what was that there's been a lot of like reflection i feel looking back i remember every detail of that day yeah looking back at the past looking back at this relationship both of you What is that detail of that day? What is the detail of that day? Huh. Six of Wands. There was like some good news. Somebody received some kind of award or, or diploma or recognition. You did, and your person remembers that. It, that seems to be like a milestone. There's a milestone that you had Virgo or some type of successful endeavor or something where you were on top of the world king of the king of the world <laughs> they remember that and and the detail of that queen of swords some type of speaking event for some of you that they for some they were there they saw it somehow hmm. Six cups. They remember when you met when you were children or when you were young or when you rec reconciled or came together. It was very sincere, something very beautiful. This person buries them, themselves in work a lot. Yeah. Just know it's a, um, it's like a tactic, you know. They're not really trying to forget you. They're just trying not to be distracted so much because they can't stop thinking about you. And that's why I said I feel like that was similar to yesterday's reading. I feel you, even though we are apart. Somehow you're apart. You might be physically apart. You might just be energetically apart where you could be in, under the same roof but you're just in different rooms and you know this person and you you both can sense the void or the absence or when something's not right but it, it it's very like empathic it's very deep and that makes it or has made it really hard for you two to separate because the double energy that doesn't always necessarily mean it's a bad thing it's just you two are like like chained together like it's like once you taste something sweet you can never untaste it uh, that's kind of like how I feel like what's to them something very sweet about you unlike anybody else Let's get a look at your advice here, and then we're gonna to move to the singles. Okay. So queen of fire, she's always here, he or she. Brilliant, talented, 
This is your person. And you, actually, you both have similarities. Brilliant, talented, independent, controlling. There is nothing you both can't do. But for you, Virgo, believe in yourself. Never underestimate your ability to make any of your dreams come true. The need for balance between career and your personal life. Virgo, don't get so deep into your career that you don't have time for fun, love, and family. And don't get so deep into fun that you go, <laughs> you can't feed yourself or pay your bills. Balance, balance, balance. Oh, it's a match. King of fire. This is you too. That fiery passion, that's the strong sticking point about this relationship. That when you two came together, the way you were physically with each other was just, it was impossible to keep away. It was almost like you both knew that you would get burned, yet you wanted to get burned. You didn't care. The king of fire, motivational, inspiring, theatrical, ambitious, takes a leadership role, steps into the spotlight, public speaking, keeping your eyes on the big picture, communicating your vision and not being sensitive to criticism. I mean, that's why I was saying in the beginning, you both are very, very similar, but just out of sync for some reason. I feel like you were both kind of out of sync and the timing just wasn't right. But this person is patiently waiting I will patiently wait and it's just praying for you and just praying and hoping that you'll miss them or you'll remember the spark and the, the fire that you created together. That's all they have to go on. This person does not care about how much money you make. They don't care about what you do for a living. They're happy for you if you're successful, but their interest is that fire that you guys made between the two of you. Okay, let me get some charms. Let's see what's going on here. Hi everybody, happy birthday Virgo. We're coming to the end and happy birthday Virgo Libra. How about that yesterday? That was so much fun. Even though that video, I don't know what was going on there, but hopefully this problem will not occur again. All right, can we get a couple of charms? All right, what do we have here? What is this? Oh, we have an octopus. Oh, they're tentacles. Virgo, they just, they want to get their tentacles all over you. This is a very passionate reading here. Something, somebody eats octopus or doesn't like, maybe you just had some for the first time. I've had octopus once and all I can say is, um, I tried it once and that was it. <laughs> I think that's one of those things that if you've never had it before, you kind of have to you know, get into, get acquainted, get acclimated to it. Okay, so yeah, there's something here with this octopus. And then I'm also hearing, oh, I just, oh gosh, you guys, I'm so crazy. These visions, you know, um, Pirates of the Caribbean and that scene with that, um, that pirate who had those tentacles, that octopus looking tentacles out of his face or his beard or something. I just saw a vision of that. So I don't know if someone that you're connected to is from, you know, the tropics or likes that movie or is like a big fan of those movies or maybe your person looks like Johnny Depp or you look like Johnny Depp or you've been told you look like Johnny Depp. Um, I just kind of feel like something to do with pirates in the Caribbean. I don't know. Um, <laughs> you guys, I did not even see this. Skull and crossbones. Holy shit. 
You guys, isn't that what's on a pirate, a pirate flag? Get out. You know, sometimes things happen and I'm just like, what are the odds? Okay. <laughs> can you even see it? Let me hold it up. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see this. Do you see it? Skull and crossbones. Seriously. Okay. It's, can, this, this is for somebody specific. I know it's very specific and that's fine. If it's not for you, just let somebody else have it. But there's something to do here with that 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 movie that all those movies or something to do like maybe like halloween somebody's dressing up like a pirate or did somebody wears an eye patch um it's all connected please leave me a comment and let me know how that resonates for you because that sometimes spirit just leads me to these things okay i'm feeling very much like who made those pirates of the caribbean movie i don't know if it was like I'm just picking up Disney. I'm picking up some Disney. And also, I'm picking up this cute little pink pumpkin carriage, like from Cinderella. Johnny Depp meets, or Jack Sparrow meets Cinderella, possibly. I don't know. Could be. You see it? It's like magic. Some type of magic here. Somebody's, you know, if you're female, you know the old story of Cinderella. Your Prince Charming is looking for you and trying to you know, fit you, fit the shoe. The shoe fits, Virgo, male or female. No one else filled those shoes. No one else has ever. No one else currently is filling your shoes and no one else can going forward. And you need to know that. And you also need to understand your person is also waking up to this. They have a lot of insecurities, so they're just if they weren't, if they really didn't have deep feelings for you, Virgo, they wouldn't care if you rejected them. Know this. So if they're not hearing from you, it's because they do. They do have very deep feelings for you. It's not the other way around. They're just protecting themselves. All right. Let's head on over to the singles and see who's coming in for the singles. Singles, singles. That was crazy. Skull and crossbones black flag black flag I just heard black flag wasn't that a group wasn't that a music group black flag it's either that or it's like some kind of wasp killer <laughs> it's poison that's for sure I just heard X marks a spot. Okay, I gotta get away from, please. No more Pirates of the Caribbean here. Your person is kind of like a bad girl, bad boy. You know, pirate, thief. <laughs> you must be attracted to that. Or, they, or you're that Virgo and they're attracted to you because of that. You're kind of like, some of you Virgos are like real proper and you got it all together and you're orderly in your business suit and your day job or whatever you're doing. And then at night you're like a freak and that's your freak flag. <laughs> that black flag, you wave your freak flag sometimes. This person's like, wait a minute, wait a minute, I'm confused. But they're heavily attracted to that. You're like a walking contradiction, Virgo. All right, let's see. Okay. All right, strength. Okay. Seven of Swords. Two of Wands. Knight of Pentacles. Oh. All right, friends with benefits coming in. You got a friends with benefits coming in. Judgment, page of swords. Well, okay. Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, male or female. Okay. Pisces, Scorpio, Leo. Listen, 
Okay, you've got a water sign coming in. You might be friends with them. This is a friendship that could turn romantic. Okay. Um, for some of you, this is something that's been going on since 2020. Okay? Some type of connection. Or you knew each other way before that, but something in 2020, there was like a boom, wake up, some kind of thing here. Like a um, confession? There's a confession. Either a friend, you got a friend who's going to be confessing to you in November that they're in love with you. Okay? This might just be strictly friend. This could be somebody you work with, Virgo. Um, this person will just be waiting for the right time. Okay? Right now, gaining the courage to come forward, male or female. Um, they're hiding this, okay? They haven't told anybody. If they haven't confessed this to you, they're confessing. Even if you've been in a friends of benefits or just a casual kind of thing, this person's coming to tell you, oh, hey, um, by the way, um, I know that we're just supposed to be casual here, but I love you. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Um, oh, this person is seeing you in a totally different light. Totally different light. This is somebody either you work side by side with this person or you go like to a particular place all the time and they maybe serve you coffee or you see them at the gym or, um, you know, you may, you're just acquaintances. Okay. Um, but there's this little something, there's like a little spark, um, and this person, now for some of you, they may, may have already told you this, that they have like a thing for you. They ask you out on a date. Maybe they asked you on a date. Some of you are, have, this has already happened and you're still like, I don't know, I don't know. Um, <laughs> so you're still trying to like figure it out. Some of you are like avoiding the person. So like if you see them in a particular place or at work or something, a lot of you have been kind of fronting and then just kind of you see them coming down the hall or you see them in a particular place and then you go the other way there's i don't know why it's uncomfortable i don't i think for some of you it might be because this person's kind of like it seems like they're obsessed with you a little bit <laughs> they're asking people about you or they will be asking friends family members people that work customers clients want to know more about you. This Two of Cups is sitting here in the middle of this reading, so this is 100% a budding romance, and I feel like November. There's sometime November 3rd, or the third week of November, somewhere in there, which is almost the entire month, um, there's an actual, either they're going to ask you out for dinner, or... Um, there's your sign. Ask you um, or make an offer or say, hey, you want to go get some coffee or something like that. That For some of you, this is going to be the second time. Okay. Um, this person's like really, really interested in you. And um, gosh. I kind of feel like... Um, Hold on, hold on, I'm getting a I'm getting a message here. This person it okay. Okay, here we go. This is what they this is um this is a beauty and the beast thing. Tale as old as time. Some of you listen, okay? Someone here is a beast. One of you is really super attractive and the other one is, doesn't feel as if they're all that, you know, attractive, okay? Or somebody's got a spell cast on them and they need you to release them from the spell. <laughs> That's so strange. I'm just picking up Beauty and the Beast. The story. I don't know why. Maybe you like that movie or something. This kind of feels like it's something to do with this. Like 
they feel like if they can come into something with you, you will release them. It's weird. I don't know. It's not overly creepy. I don't see any really creepy stuff here, honestly. I don't, I don't even know if this person thinks about that movie that is or that fable that is so old. Our story is so old, but I'm just picking up Beauty and the Beast. I want to get a clarifying card. What is beauty? What does this have to do with anything here? Maybe like some of you um, are actors or actresses and you do like these musicals or plays or maybe you know something about this. I don't know. This, give me a clarifying card. <gasps> okay, the Ten of Cups. Hmm. What are they trying to tell me? Hold on. Oh, okay. They just said um, either this person. Okay. Either this person knows about a past relationship with someone you were with, who we will call that person, male or female, Gaston. The arrogant, self-centered, self-entitled, controlling ex. And this person It feels like if they know about this, your ex, or if they, if they find out, they're gonna say, oh, you were with someone who was like a, a Gaston type of person. This is a, such a weird message. You were with someone like that who was, and that's not good. They're gonna, whatever it takes. But listen, the, you know that, and <laughs> everybody else knows that that's not a healthy relationship right but this person is manipulating a little bit here to try to get you to look their way okay is it bad no because like i always say manipulation isn't always bad you wake up in the morning you comb you brush your hair you're manipulating your hair a particular way so it looks a particular way for the day it's not a bad manipulation it's just that this person wants you to see or just wants to bring that up to make the comparison of how much better and how much more they can offer you. Okay, so something coming up here in November. That's what I feel. November 3rd to like the third week of November. Some type of communication. Um, you might give somebody a birthday present in November as well. For some. But I really feel like this person this person feels like they have a lot of spiritual essence about them very spiritual person talk to them there's something about them that's really enlightening they have a way of communicating that really opens up your mind it gives you a lot of expansion they just have a glow about them and i feel like if you don't already know this when you talk to them this is something that you'll notice about them when you meet them very open and honest very truthful tells it like it is this person is a writer also they like to write um, maybe they write books novels scripts new write journalism news articles that kind of thing But real slow, you know, they don't rush. They won't rush you, okay? They, but they're not gonna give up, you know? Um, this person's at a crossroad in their life. You know, they're trying to make a decision about partnership, and I feel like they're ready. They have the whole world to offer you. They wanna offer this to you. I'm also seeing Toasting, toasting something or someone. Oh, so maybe there's some kind of a family party or an event coming up. Oh, well, it's the holidays as well. But there's like toasting cheers. It could be New Year's as well. It could be like a, a build up up until the new year. Some are, you know, 
whether it's Chinese New Year or the Western New Year, whichever. Um, Chinese New Year, I think, is in February. That might have something to do with this hanged man. Somebody's birthday is February 12th. It is for February 12th and November 20th. Their birthdays could be around that time. Also, um, August 8th is coming up. Something coming out, not coming up. Okay. All right. I'm drained from these messages. I'm not even sure what the heck's going on here. <laughs> but I think that's going to be it for now. So, you guys, awesome hanging out with you tonight. And we will be back here tomorrow. Make sure you send me an email at, to moonpietarot at gmail if you want to be a moderator. I'm going to be doing the live stream mini paid readings on Friday evenings beginning in October. Um, it'll be two hours, $20. You pay, join the chat, ask your question, and I will pull um, some cards for you. I can't remember if I, if I have it as one card or three cards. I can't remember, but um, it, I need moderators. I need people, I have or a lot of people have emailed and I just need to narrow it down. I just need people who wish to commit to being there or are able to switch off, you know, because I know some, I, I may not be there on every Friday as well if I have something going on, but um, yeah. So with joining and becoming a moderator, I will give you one free card reading every week that you're there. All right, you guys, and I'll do that at the end of the uh, live stream. So awesome to hang out with you. I am on my way to go pick out my new couch. So <laughs> I will talk to you guys later and I hope you enjoyed the chat and I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Love you. Bye.